You are accused of one count of restraining order violation, Mr. Tang. How do you plead? Uh, whichever way doesn't send me to jail. Not guilty, Your Honor. Very well. Bail is set down. No! No jail. He said bail. People request remand. The defendant approached the woman armed with a gun. I wasn't going to use it. Shut up. After that, bail hardly seems appropriate. Yes! Jail is not appropriate. Shut up! Mr. Malcolm, I suggest you silence your clients. Believe me, Judge, no one wants that more than me. Well, it's only a matter of time before he says something. Give me remand! Like that. Mr. Tain, I'm going to ask you to take the advice of counsel. Now that he's going to let me go to jail, I wish to defend myself. Then you have a fool for a lawyer. Hey! Why do you think I want to defend myself? Fine. Mr. Malcolm, you're free to go. Fine. Woohoo! Remand! <sighs> This is going to be a long trial. The people may call their first witness. The people call Sam to the stand. <laughs> Objection! That's clearly a dude in a wig. So? Do you have something against people who need wigs? Yeah, maybe he's undergoing chemotherapy for cancer. Oh yeah, what kind of cancer do you have? Um, foot. Foot cancer. Foot. Foot. Your Honor, it's clearly wearing a wig. Foot? No, the witness. The witness is a foot? No, the witness is wearing the wig! So it is a foot? Are you blind? You're out of order! This whole courtroom is out of order! You're in contempt! Objection! It's sustained! What? I was overruled! Ha! Huh, your what was overruled? No, I overruled your objection! But you sustained it! Can I? <coughs> Can I go now? No! Is it true this man approached you with a gun? Yes! Make that hand come up to let it on me with a gun! No further questions. Do you remember the note you got in the mail last night? Yes. What did it say? It said, I know where you live, you better not testify. And whom was this letter from? You. No further questions. The defense calls itself to the stand. Your Honor, can you do that? I don't know. Mr. Dane, can you do that? Yes, I'm fairly confident I can. Problem solved. You asked him? Well, I wasn't going to ask you. You were going to say no, no matter what. He was going to say yes, no matter what. Mr. Tain, would you have said yes, no matter what? No. See? Christ, let's just get this over with. Okay. To start off, Mr. Tain, where do you live? You know, wherever I go. Yes, but where is your home? Home. Home is where the heart is. What the fire truck? And isn't that what this is all about? Where your heart is? If Sam's heart hadn't been in contempt of me, there would be no restraining order, and thus no lawsuit. If Thomas Edison's heart hadn't been in the interest of science, we wouldn't have the lighting to be having this trial. If George Washington's heart hadn't been in his body, he'd be dead, and there'd be no United States of America. And then where would we be now? That's so beautiful. Amen, brother. Amen. Are you high? Miss Richards, that's inappropriate! Drunk? Miss Richards, stop it! On acid? Miss Richards! Puffing the magic dragon? Miss Richards! I'll move on. Have you ever pointed a gun at Mr. Samuel McGruffin? That depends on what you mean by pointed, or gun, or McGruffin, or ever, or at. I mean what I say. Well, I did, but from 501 feet away. How does that make it okay? Well, if you read the restraining order, you'd see that it says I only have to stay 500 feet away. No further questions. You may make your final cases. The fact is, Your Honor, I may have approached the witness with a gun, but it was outside the range of the restraining order, and thus, I did not violate it. Objection! On what grounds? That was a loophole! So? Loopholes were bad! Says you. I have sufficient evidence to prove this, Your Honor, if I may. Go ahead. Your Honor, do you enjoy roller coasters? I do. Wait, why? Cool, a roller coaster! Indeed it is. Is that a loop over there? It sure is. Whee! Oh! <laughs> and that is a loophole.